All right, gamers, what is going on? Insanity coming at you the week after E3, which is usually the most boring week in the gaming industry, but Treyarch decided to go ahead and drop a bomb on the Call of Duty community that the Vengeance DLC is coming on July the 2nd, first on Xbox Live, where gamers are going to be treated to four brand new multiplayer maps, a brand new zombie map, and a new zombie weapon, the Raygun Mark II. Now, the first of the four maps is a map called Cove, where you're basically stranded on this island surrounded by water. Uh, it's got a huge open area in the middle and this cave where it's going to have three different entrances. So no matter which one you go through, you always have to worry about those other two entrances because you don't want to get flanked or anything like that. Now, the second map is called Detour, where it's going to take place on this humongous bridge where there's two levels. Bottom level is really good for more of the run and gun type player. Really short gameplay, shotguns, SMGs, that thing. Top level is really going to be good for that sniper, long range, assault rifle, or even if you do happen to come by close to someone, you can have that close range combat as well. But it's really going to be playing a lot like slums where if you control one side of the map, they're going to keep spawning on the other side of the map. Uh, Rush is going to take place in a full paintball facility where there's a lot of indoor and outdoor gameplay. Uh, it's going to be one of those maps where you really want to keep moving constantly. You don't want to slow down. Uh, Choke points are going to be really hard to mess with. Uh, people are going to be spawning in all different directions, so you don't want to try and sit on one side because there may be someone spawning to your left or to your right, and you won't realize it. Uplink is a complete reimagining of the Black Ops 1 map Summit, and being a search and destroy player myself, this map is going to be awesome. It's not just a texture pack. Uh, Treyarch really decided to go all out to make sure you really did feel like you were playing a brand new map while you still had that same gameplay experience that you got from Summit with the different pathways and the lower levels, top levels, and that huge facility you want to try and hold in the center. Now the new zombie map is called Buried where it's going to be this underground western town with dead cowboys and western people and there's going to be this brand new enemy type where you're really going to have to decide if you're going to want to try and kill them or use them to your advantage. They really haven't said what that means yet. If it's going to be, you know, just killing zombies or enemy types, or if he's going to be able to open up new pathways to, you know, based on his size and strength. Uh, overall, I do have to say the new ray gun, the Mark II that they're releasing, is what the ray gun should have been from the start. It should have been able to penetrate through multiple zombies like this new one does. It's going to make a huge difference. Uh, the entire Vengeance DLC pack is going to be out on July the 2nd, first on Xbox Live, and I can't wait to play Summon again.